Hello everybody, hope you're having a great day. Well, this is a simple product review, this Cuisinart waffle maker, a Belgian flip waffle maker. I've never had one before and I bought this one and I thought I'd make a video uh, showing how I make waffles with this little wonderful device. It's so simple to make waffles in this and you probably already know how. It comes with a, uh, a little instruction sheet and a scoop to measure. And I'm going to also use this Krusty's Belgian waffle mix just to make it as simple as possible. So let me grab a bowl and I'm going to follow the directions on the box. And I'm going to use two eggs just like this. Hey, I hope things are going well for you. I appreciate you watching my videos and I ask you to share my videos. And then also you might click on the link that we have for the Amazon uh, affiliate. And I put in one teaspoon of vanilla extract and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. You don't have to do that. That's just a little extra touch that I like. And then I'm going to beat these eggs and get all these wet ingredients in first. This is the way I like to do it. All right. And now oil, one third cup of cooking oil. So we'll put that in just like that. I haven't turned on the, the waffle maker yet. Give this a stir. I want to get all these ingredients ready before I put the, the dry mix in. And now we're going to put in some water. Once we get this done, one and one third cups of water. So simple. And in it goes just like that. Do you like waffles? I do, but I've never had a waffle maker in all these years. I enjoy eating them. This is the first time I've had my very own. Isn't that neat? And so three cups of this waffle mix, this Belgian waffle mix, you can get it at, at the store. I'll have links for all these products. I guess the waffle maker, this Quasinart waffle maker. And here's, I think, the secret to making good waffles and pancakes as well, is you don't want to over mix the batter. And so you can see I'm gently folding it and I just want to get everything nice and moistened. Uh, if you, you certainly don't want to mix it so much uh, that you get all the lumps out. And I think that's one of the mistakes that a lot of people make. And I want you to see uh, how much, well, how lumpy uh, this still is. You see that? Just mixing it, folding it in. This helps keep it nice and light, just like that. Once again, I appreciate you watching my videos, and I want to encourage you to explore my channel. I have over, what, 400 videos that you can check out. So now we're going to plug this in, and uh, the power light comes on, and we wait for the ready light. And now I'm going to give this one uh, final quick stir. Just fold it like that. You can see the green light is on in the waffle maker. So that means it's up to temperature. Now this ensures you don't put too much batter in. And that's so important because how do you know how much to put in? Well, this solves that problem. So we'll just open it up and pour it in. Doesn't get much easier than that. And it has a temperature controlled, so you can adjust how uh, dark or light uh, you make your waffles. And I'm going to make pecan waffles. So sprinkle some chopped pecans on as well. And you can make all sorts of different kinds, of course. But this is a favorite of my wife and I. And press it and turn it. And then the green light will go off. And then once it comes back on, it's done. And you flip it back over. And there we go. We have a beautiful Belgian waffle. And I'm going to uh, pop that in the air fryer at 200 degrees to keep that first one warm while the second one cooks. So just repeat this process. And once I get this one cooking, I'll put that uh, first waffle uh, in the air fryer and let it stay warm while this one finishes. We're going to enjoy these waffles. In fact, I'm having it for lunch. Lunch waffles. 
same process, turn it over, and the, the green light will go off. And then when it comes back on, it's ready. So it's ready now. And the first one is staying warm. Oh, this time it kind of hung on to the, the upper section, but that's all right. It falls right out. That simple. And there we have it. I've put butter on both of these beautiful Belgian waffles. And of course, some syrup. And now for the all important taste test. Well, again, this is a simple review of the Cuisinart waffle maker and it passes. Mm, those waffles are so good. Uh, so if you're looking for a waffle maker, I can recommend this one anyway. Well, that's how you make these simple waffles. And I appreciate you watching my video once again. Thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye now.